Pareto stuff is a huge taboo in many industries, but not in this mechanical keyboard hobby. What's weirder, people who buy Pareto stuff will actually shout and defend themselves proudly. First time GMK keycap sets can cost a few hundred dollars when bought at the group buy stage. And the popular ones like GMK Darling, Botanical, and Olivia can cost up to a thousand US dollars in the aftermarket. Some keyboards like this Keycal TKL can literally cost multiple thousands on the aftermarket. Keyboards shouldn't be this expensive. People like Kalam is doing us a favor by increasing the supply and driving the prices down. If you want to talk about keycaps, there is literally no need to support Parata sets if you are just looking for a cheap deal. PPT fans, Drop MT3, DCX, EPBT, they are all great options and alternatives to GMK and they are much cheaper. Well, unless you are looking for something that is made in ABS. But even GMK sets are frequently on sale these days because of the sharp drop in demand back to normalcy. Now, piracy only really arose when, during COVID, supply was unable to meet the demand. But now, it's after COVID and things are going back to normal, so the need for piracy is literally non-existent when supply is driving the prices down. Plus, did you think this hobby is cheap? Even if a group buy is cancelled, there's great expense. If you have spent any amount of time designing a keyboard case, you will know the amount of effort it takes. If you can't afford it, why bother buying a Prada, Gucci, or an iPhone when you can just get regular ones like recyclable bags? Or an Android phone. Oi, Android phones are not cheap, okay? The point is, if you can't afford it, whatever happened to saving up for it? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I get what you're saying. But what if the set is not going to be produced anymore? Some key sets only run for one, sometimes two rounds. So isn't it a huge service to us, the people, if some manufacturers carry on copying and producing these key sets and keyboards? Plus, I missed the group buy for this particular one that I really, really want because I simply couldn't get a rifle spot. Is it wrong to just buy a clone keyboard? You realize that group buys are run for one or two rounds for a reason, right? Because demand for these are really low normally. If this hobby is as huge as watches, cars, group buys will not be run. It is only during the COVID years that demand skyrocketed, and for aesthetic sets like Olivia, Darling, which so happens to deliver during this particular period, supply couldn't meet the demand. And there are literally so many keyboard designs out there, you don't need to buy into the hype or the FOMO. Two years of doing this, I've built so many keyboards. My friend, just get another one, or simply wait for the next round. It's just too bad that you couldn't get what you want this time. Not everyone can have a cake and eat it. So to what extent are we going to label something as pirated? GMK Striker, Masterpiece, Space Cadet Blue use almost the same shade of blue. So is it a crime to pirate the colorway? In my opinion, no. To me, colorways are fair game. It doesn't take too much to say that you want a black keycap set with a white F row, for example. I draw the line there with novelties. Those are someone else's inventive sense and hard work. What has happened recently is that it's not only uncommon to see clones of stuff that is not only available, but still in interest check and not open for sales at all. One great example is GMK Stargaze, whose clones can be found nearly a week, maybe two, on some seller's website here in Singapore right after the group buy is announced. Some people have been planning to pirate it for a long time for a quick profit. This isn't pirated of course, um, I waited almost two years to finally get my hands on this set. Well, as for keyboards, the line is even clearer. Do not copy the exact keyboard. Do not stick the same branding on and call it the real thing. Like the Kalam Jane here literally etched the signature Jane logo on a bag weight. How would you feel if someone didn't study for a test and copied your answers, which you studied the entire night for and also scored 100% just like you? So this hobby is really young and draws a relatively small crowd of people unlike other hobbies. A small team of keyboard creators can't afford to issue cease and desist letters to manufacturers. Moreover, what's the point of that when Keycalc and Kalam are located in different continents altogether, US and China? And number two, the interest check GB format also needs rethinking. 
there's the whole fiasco about Max and Co. And Teha just did a great long hour interview on that with uh, Ram Mendes. But apparently, it's a whole other issue with this particular GB format. Too much information is leaked before any details are confirmed. Like during the interest check stage, and even after group buy is announced. But manufacturers have yet to start shipping yet. It gives people the chance to pirate the design at multiple points along the way, especially because the entire process takes so long for a keyboard or a keycap set to be produced. People just get tired of waiting along the way and want things instantly in this day and age. So they turn to pirated stats, um, albeit sometimes of lesser quality. Piracy is here to stay. At the end of the day, it's your money and your choice and no one else's. If you just buy them, no one will know unless you tell them. I have to say though, if you are even considering a pirated set, then you definitely won't be in this hobby for long or won't be as involved or interested in being an active member of the custom keyboard community. What I can't stand is people who buy pirated stuff mock people who aren't doing the same. In every hobby, be it sports, collectibles, there's a spirit, a code of ethics of sorts to be upheld. If you're a soccer or basketball fan, owning a fake jersey will get you mocked at by your friends. Similarly, if you're a keyboard fanatic, Owning a fake keyboard or a keyboard set will get you mocked at by keyboard purists. It's the same thing. It's ridiculous to me how someone who isn't serious about something is mocking another who is taking something so seriously. Alright, I'm glad that is out of my system. See ya. This is purely for dramatic effect. I'll be showing off this keyboard in future meetups. Bye!